Hello, Burnaby first graders, and welcome back. I hope you're ready for this week's lesson. So first, think back to last week. Does anyone remember what we learned? That's right. We used self-talk to help us stay on task. Self-talk is saying things to yourself to help you do something. Give me a thumbs up if you use self-talk this week. Awesome. So this week, we're going to learn how to be assertive. Being assertive means that you respectfully ask for what you need. So my friend Tiffany is stuck and needs some help being assertive. Let's take a look and see if we can help her. Tiffany is working on a writing assignment, but she's stuck and she needs help. The teacher is helping another student on the other side of the classroom, but Tiffany remembers her three steps for being assertive. First, she tries the problem again by herself, but she's still stuck. Next, she asks a friend for help. Her friend really wants to help her, but he's not quite sure. So next, Tiffany goes to her third step, respectfully asking an adult for what she needs. Tiffany thinks very carefully about how she's going to ask for help. She knows that she could use a passive voice, which sounds like, I'm stuck, I can't do this. But that probably won't work. She also knows that she can use an aggressive voice that sounds like, ah, I'm stuck, help me with this. But she knows that's not the right way to ask either. Instead, she decides to use an assertive voice, which sounds like, excuse me, I'm stuck, can you help me with this problem? When Tiffany used an assertive, respectful voice, her teacher finished what she was doing and came over to give her the help that she needed. This week, we've learned the three steps for being assertive and asking for the help you need. The first step is to try the problem again by yourself. The second step is to ask a friend for help. And if that doesn't work, the third step is to ask your teacher using a respectful, assertive voice. So now let's practice a little bit. I'm gonna give you a few scenarios and I want you to raise your hand if you can think of how you would respectfully, assertively ask for help. Okay, here we go. First, you left the class ball outside after recess. Next, you can't find a dinosaur book in the library. Next one, you don't understand the math work you have to do. And last one, you fell on the playground and scraped your hands. Great job. Okay, first grade, that's all for now. See you next week.